Hello, John here again, and welcome to episode 11, I do believe, of this community game development series where we're going to try and recreate Hunchback. And as you know, we're, we're developing it in Pygame first to understand the mechanics. So I'm doing a couple of videos, well, a few video, videos about how Pygame works. And in this one, we're going to try and make the background scroll. So when we create the game, the background will scroll with with those the player. Now, hopefully, it's going to work something like this. So here we go. I've got a, a slide. And this is our background from the previous uh, episode. So this is our background here. And let's, assume, let's say that this is our display area, the bit that you see on the computer. And of course, there's us, there's our little man there. Now, to make the screen scroll is effectively doing this. Yeah, that is scrolling the screen. We are got, instead of scrolling the screen, we scroll in the background because we can't we can't affect the display, but we can affect the things on the display. And so what we need to do is we need to we need to work out how we're going to display the background on the screen so that it gives the impression that the background is scrolling. Now we can't move the screen and the screen is you know I think it's uh, 600 by whatever oh a thousand wow a thousand that's a lot so it's a thousand long but we're gonna cut the screen down right I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the screen down so we have this overlap yeah because I want to show the effect of it so we're gonna make the screen we're gonna make the screen narrower but to show you the effect. And then what we're gonna try and do, we're gonna try and move the screen that way. So it gives the impression like so. It gives the impression when you're looking from the screen point of view that the background is scrolling. It's not a very good demonstration, but it gets the point across. So. Let's uh, go to our Raspberry Pi, and um, first things first, let's create a new file called Episode Eleven. Uh, make the screen scroll. Oops, and I've done it again. Done it again. Dot py. So let's take. Oh, and that's in the wrong directory for one. That's supposed to be in there. Thank you. There are all our pickies. So let's load that in and we'll copy this entire lot. And we'll paste it into there. And we'll close that one down. Right, so this is this is what we're going to do. Right, so there's two things that we need to work out, right? Let me go back to the slide. The first one is the x value of the pic, the background itself. What is that what is that x position in real life? Like in here, see naught x is naught here on this screen just there, yeah? So in essence, this is a negative X number. Because remember, Pi game starts up here, yeah? So negative X would be here. Positive X would be going this way. So the start of the start of the uh, background is already in the negatives, yeah? So how can we get it so when we look at it, that this background is moving that way? You shouting at me yet? Can't hear you. Anyway, 
the way we're going to do it is we're going to have a separate um, variable for the background and we're going to keep track of that background x value all the time so background x and we'll say it starts with naught because we're going to put it in the naught naught corner and what we need to do then is we need to put the background on the screen at that x value so it's, it's going to be it's going to be a relatively easy episode this is relatively easy episode so best thing we can do is we check this where this is where we put the background on the screen so instead of putting the background at whoops naught and naught we put it on at bgx comma naught and through this game loop we are going to get um, we're going to take one because we want to got it make it go left so we're going to go uh, bgx minus equals one so we're going to take one away from it so every time it goes through the game loop it's going to take one away from it right see told you it was easy let's run it let's find out if it is as easy as i thought there we go and there it is it's scrolling Now, it looks a bit jerky on here because I'm running this on VNC. So what I might do is, at the end of the episode, I might actually fire, turn the TV on and actually record it from the Raspberry Pi when it's doing it. But there you go. It's scrolling. But it looks like it's smearing. <laughs> uh, smearing the picture. Right. Okay. The reason for that is as we are as we pass through the screen we are not clearing it out here we're not telling the we're not telling pi game to fill in the screen before we put the background on it so it leaves its last pixel residue behind so it looks like it's smearing so what we need to do is we need to make it start and come in there and not leave the residue behind. So, how are we gonna do that? So basically we need, um, hmm. we need to put another X behind it. We need to put another picture behind it. So we need another, we need another variable because we need another variable that so this is x but we need another variable that's relative to the screen so it would be relative so it would give an x value that's relative to the screen but not to the the picture right so we need to work out what the relative um, value is and to do that, we um, we need to we need to do so. We'll, we'll create another one, create another variable. Let's put one up here. Let's be good boys, right? Bg rel x equals zero, and we need to so bg rel x equals the background x divided by background dot get rec dot width so that's going to divide our x value by the width of the screen to give us the relative number of it but that's that's but that's going to give us how many screens so if we divide if we divide one by not a thousand that's going to be z almost zero it's going to be almost zero 
Well, no, I can't. No, it's got to be right. So if we do rel x, so we now want to display the picture based on the relative x. Okay, let's uh, see if that's done it. Ooh. Oh, it's a little x. I've put a little x on it. Yeah, big X. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That won't work, it? Hang on, let's work this out. Even if we go to minus 100 divided by a thousand is minus one. So it would never move. Oh, maybe we need the remainder. Hang on. Remainder, modulus. Let's try that. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Okay, so we've got it to scroll across now, but it started at the edge of the screen. So we need to then, oh, I wonder if relative, hang on, minus one divided by the background becomes the positive back. Right, okay. So as you see, it's coming again. And it's not carrying on that way. So what we need to do is we need to um, adjust our calculations, I think. We need, to, um, we need to bring it back to the start of the screen. So to bring it back to the start of the screen, we've got to then minus the background width okay because that would be a thousand minus the width would bring it back to zero and then it would go backwards that should do it I should do it. Here we go. Oh, we still got the. Um... So, oh. so effective, effect, effectively, but that's the re that's the relative number. So we've got to then. We... <sighs> Right, to add, to make it stitch onto the, to make it stitch onto the back end of it, we've got to put another background on the screen. And that background should only go on when the background's encroached onto the screen. Okay. Okay, so effectively we're doing this. So if the background background rel relative x value is less than the screen width, then window dot lit. So we're going to add the background onto the end and to do that we put it at bg rel x comma zero yeah because the the rel x is less than the screen so we so we need to put it where the rel x is because the rel x is actually on the screen 
Oh, God, this is a lot of thinking. Right, okay, let's try it. So this is, oh, so this is where our screens are joining because I, I put a, a white line in the bitmap so I could see. This is not bad. Not bad. So when, so when this gets off the screen, we should have an, another one. So at the moment it's putting two bitmaps on the screen. And then when that drops off the screen, another one should have been. Oh. <laughs> Right. Hmm. Okay. Right. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put the Raspberry Pi on the telly so I can record this. Because I want to see how it is. For real. I'm hoping it's not that this jerking. Right, so let's close this down. Let's save that. And we'll shut the Raspberry Pi down. And I will see you in a minute with the machine with the Raspberry Pi on the telly and I'll be recording it off the telly. See you in a minute. Right then. As you can see I'm booting up. Right, let's see if I can control this thing. Got my little teeny tiny keyboard. Right. Let's uh, load up. VS code. Do, 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 do. Will it do it automatically? Yes, it does. Right, let's load our file up. Not that one. Right, let's run it. See what it looks like. So I'm not VNCing into it. So this is running directly off the Pi. And look at that. <laughs> look at that. And it's as smooth as you like. That is a thing of beauty. Not bad for a few calculations, isn't it? And two variables. And there's the second one, just come on. Right, so what happens if I fire up VNC now? Does it slow it down? Let's have a look. So I'm firing up VNC. Here we go. Does that slow it down? No, it doesn't. Excellent. So even though it's a bit jerky on VNC, that's because of the network and the real thing is as smooth as you like. Good. Right. I think half hour video. Hey, another another one, another short one. 
Right, so I think the next one is to make our little character. Make our little character move around the screen and affect the scroll. So when it when it goes off the screen, we want it to make it make the screen scroll. And that will be the basis of Hunchback near enough, I think. And then we'll go in. We'll, we'll go into sprites, which allows us to do loads of things like uh, detection and stuff like that. Right, and I think that's been a successful little episode. That one. So the next episode is where we're going to make the character interact with the the scroll. So it drives the scroll rather than the scroll just going on on its own. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, fine. Hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment as I try to answer them all. And if you'd like to contribute or support my channel, um, then consider becoming a patron of mine. You, you patrons are the th people that keep me going and the money that's raised during for patron is to pay for things like you know raspberry pies all right and with that i will say see you next time take care bye i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much Thank you.